powerful storms that moved into the state Monday have made their way out, but several communities are dealing with the damage left behind. Thanks for joining us for KRK 40s at 5. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Clawson. Storm cleanup underway to recover from the high wind and rain that blew in. We are bringing you team coverage this evening. Tylisa Hampton is in Jesseville with a look at the damage there after that tornado blew through. Let's go and begin in DeWitt. Heavy flash flooding there. Scary sight for drivers this morning. Andrew Epperson joining us now live there. And Andrew, people there saying that this flooding is the worst they've ever seen. That's right, Bob, and many of the people who live out here in DeWitt have been here for decades. I just had a couple pull up and tell me that their son, who lives just down the street from where we are right now over in Harrison Street, is dealing with flood water in his home that came all the way up to just about here on the chest. So it's something that they're dealing with here, and they've never seen it flood this bad in DeWitt. This is around 10 Tuesday morning in DeWitt. Flood water's yet to recede after a night of heavy rain. And you see the water line right here. Bob Ward's lived here for six decades. All my life. He's never seen anything like this. Leaving home at 4 this morning, Ward says the roads weren't too bad. When I got out to Conoco where I go to drink coffee every morning, and then next thing you know, we can't get out of there. <laughs> so it's about 7 o'clock before I got back to here. There's a car submerged right there. Police Chief Stephen Bobo says the work piled up. Drivers hit harder than most. We've probably had five or six, seven cars that uh, one was completely underwater. There were some other ones that, you know, we had to go and get people out of. Bobo says nobody's hurt, but people have to wait for the water to recede all the way to know the true damage. So we can actually see the roads and see if they, any of them's been washed out and see our, check our bridges and things. Ward says he's thankful the water didn't completely overtake his yard. They got up in my shop area over here, but it didn't get high enough to hurt anything. In times like these, Ward says the most important thing is people's safety. So he's glad the water finally stopped coming. It's a good thing for everybody. <laughs> Bobo tells me here in DeWitt it really had, had water sitting about a foot in most places, but in some areas that sitting water got up to about 14 inches. Live in DeWitt, Andrew Epperson, back to you.